First at 5 o'clock, the well-known case of a missing Kettering girl takes an unexpected twist today. I'm Marsha Bonhart. And I'm Mark Allen. The only person ever convicted in the Erica Baker case was released from jail today. And the person who gave him a ride home was Erica's grandmother. Now, this case, of course, is more than 10 years old now. Baker disappeared from a Kettering Park back in 1999. Police believe she was hit by a van, but her body has never been recovered. However, the man who police believe was driving that van, Christian Gabriel, was convicted years ago of tampering with evidence and abuse of a corpse. Jordan Burgess live with more on today's latest twist. Well, as we counted down the minutes waiting for the release of the man convicted of crimes related to Erica's disappearance, something seemed a little off and everybody had their theories. But it wasn't until we watched what happened as he left the jail that we could truly believe it. Christian Gabriel walks free after six years in prison and a few days in the Mercer County Jail. Some blame him for Erica Baker's death. So you can imagine the surprise when we saw whose car he was getting into. Gabriel climbed into the passenger seat and drove off with Erica's grandmother, Pamela Schmidt. The move seems strange considering the scene earlier in the day when Erica's mother, Misty, talked with us about planning to hold up these signs for Gabriel to see as he was released. It doesn't get any easier as the years go by seems to get harder and harder. But Misty and her signs were nowhere to be seen as it came time for Gabriel to get out. Instead, a deputy carted out a box with Gabriel's name on it and put it in Schmidt's car. Hints of the sudden change came earlier at a Salina court hearing for Gabriel about a years old domestic violence case. When the judge asked if anyone had something to say, Schmidt spoke up and asked for Gabriel's release. His son is very Erica's mom told us she also sympathized with the fact that Gabriel's son is sick, but never far from her mind is her daughter, who would have turned 22 yesterday. Misty says the best present would be finding Erica. That could be the reason Schmidt gave Gabriel a ride home. But what Gabriel knows and what the family may learn is anybody's guess. There is anybody out there who has any information. I'm still waiting. Bring her home. Now, I've called Pamela and haven't heard back from her, but Erica's father, Greg, left me a message saying he had no idea this was going to happen, adding that it could even be dangerous for her to give him a ride. We'll continue to keep you updated on where all of this leads and if it does, in fact, lead to finding Erica Baker. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.